guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the easiest appetizer recipe for you ever and it's so delicious. I'm going to show you how to make my whipped ricotta crostini. So I've said it before, I will say it again, while we love entertaining, we love having people over, do you want to know what I hate? I hate making appetizers. It's always the last thing on my list, but at the same time, I love offering my guests something really delicious when they walk in the door. That's where these whipped ricotta crostini are such a lifesaver. They are so easy to make and everybody loves them. So first we're going to make some garlic crostini. You guys, crostini is just a fancy word for toasted bread. You can use regular bread or gluten-free bread. We're gonna rub it with olive oil and some garlic. It's gonna have a delicious delicious flavor. And then we're going to top it with a creamy and light whipped ricotta. You don't need any special equipment for this recipe, just a bowl and a spatula. And you can serve the whipped ricotta crostini just as they are. Or here's the fun part. You can top them with just about anything according to what's in season or what you have lying around in your fridge. And yes, this is a great time to use up leftovers in your fridge. This is a game changer of an appetizer and I can't wait to show you how easily it comes together. Let's head to the kitchen. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. It really helps out my channel and that way you won't miss out on any of my easy, wholesome, family-friendly and naturally gluten-free recipes. Let's start by making the crostini. You'll need a baguette. For this, you can use a regular baguette, a whole wheat baguette, or even a gluten-free baguette. Slice that into half-inch slices, then arrange those slices on a parchment-lined baking sheet. Now brush each slice lightly with olive oil. The olive oil is going to help the crostini crisp up and turn nice and crunchy. Season these with salt and pepper. This is key, you guys, to delicious crostini. Then flip the slices over, and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Bake the crostini in a 375 degree oven until they are lightly golden and crisp on the bottom. Flip them over and be careful, they are hot, and then transfer them back to the oven and cook them for about five minutes longer until they are crispy on both sides. While the crostini are still hot, rub each slice with the cut half of a garlic clove. Basically, we're making garlic toast here. Let those cool, and by the way, you can make them ahead, and let's make the whipped ricotta. You want to use a really good quality ricotta here, nothing with gums or stabilizers. I include some of my favorite supermarket brands in the recipe link below. Add a teaspoon of good quality olive oil and then about two teaspoons of whole milk. Season the ricotta with salt and pepper. And then we're going to use a rubber spatula and stir the ricotta, pressing it against the sides of the bowl until it is really light and creamy. You can do this in a stand mixer as well, but I find a bowl and a spatula is just a lot easier. Our whipped ricotta is ready to serve. You can serve it just as it is with the crostini alongside, or you can top it with any number of toppings. The creamy and cool whipped ricotta with the crunchy garlicky crostini is the best combination. And if you want to dress it up, here are some ideas. You could drizzle them with honey and then sprinkle the crostini with flaky sea salt. In the summer, you can top them with tomatoes, basil, and balsamic. In the winter, you could go for sauteed greens with Parmesan, maybe some roasted mushrooms and a drizzle of truffle oil, or just some leftover roasted veggies. The options are endless. Now, if you're serving guests, you can just choose one of these variations. You don't have to make all of them. And you can either build them for your guests, like a pest hors d'oeuvre, or just set out all the components and let your guests build their own. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about these whipped ricotta crostini. So I've included the link below to the full recipe and in that link you can find a ton of other topping ideas for the crostini. I've also included a link to my website where you can find a slew of other appetizer recipes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you next time.